Ephesians 4, 1 through 3. Therefore I, a prisoner for serving the Lord, beg you to lead a life worthy of your calling, for you have been called by God. Always be humble and gentle. Be patient with each other, making allowance for each other's faults because of your love. Make every effort to keep yourselves united in the Spirit, binding yourselves together with peace. Humility, gentleness, patience, forgiveness, unity, love, peacefulness. This scripture is contrary to the messages we hear in our world today. Pushing your way to the top, climbing the ladder, being first, being right, getting what you want fast, ditching anyone who doesn't agree with you, and making excuses for our behavior rather than humbling ourselves. That's what the world teaches. The world's values can leave you feeling exhausted, deprived, and unloved. Stop and think about what it would feel and look like to live in a community filled with humble and gentle people. A community where people are patient, loving, forgiving, and encouraging. Imagine sharing a meal with friends where laughter and praise took precedence over controversial topics and judgmental thoughts and accusations. Pause. Breathe in what this would look and feel like for you. Would it be like a cozy fire in the winter? A gentle rain on a tin roof on a hot summer day? A walk in a cool forest? As Christ followers, we are to live a life worthy of a child of God, worthy of our calling. This means we are to strive for community with others. Picture a time when you witnessed someone putting themselves first, pushing and clawing and spewing hurtful words at anyone who contradicted them. Did you cringe or did you want to give them a high five? Now, picture Jesus standing there with you at that time. Imagine what his heart would have felt like. Does this move you to seek humility and peacefulness with others? What does it mean to make allowances for each other's faults? To show people love regardless of what they've done or said to you? Has someone ever made allowances for your faults? Take a moment to reflect on that situation. Now, is there someone in your life who you need to treat with gentleness? Someone whose faults you need to make allowances for? A child? Maybe someone in your extended family? Consider this person's background and what hurts they may have faced in their past. Ask God to help you love this person unconditionally. Lord, it's difficult to always be humble and gentle. We struggle with being patient. It's not easy to look past the faults of those around me. Thank you for always loving me and for being patient and forgiving with me. Thank you for looking past my faults. Help me, Lord, to live at peace with others. Amen. Breathe in what it would mean for us to be united in the Spirit with our brothers and sisters in Christ, binding ourselves together with peace. If you have a person in your life who needs prayer, or you need prayer, leave a comment. We'll pray for you. Thank you.